lean and healthy protein, which makes it a perfect candidate for burgers. Today we'll be making cranberry and feta turkey burgers, but if you don't care for either, simply omit them. Begin by preheating the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. By the time the patties are made and seared, the oven will be ready to finish the job so you can have time to clean up or fix the toppings for the burgers. Next, add all of the ingredients to a large mixing bowl, save the oil, and combine it with your hands. If the prospect of touching raw meat makes you squeamish, a dough whisk and a patty press will make your life easier. I will link to both of these items below in the show notes. Oh dear, I forgot the salt and pepper. You may have noticed that I didn't include a measurement for the salt and pepper. Add both to taste and check the flavor of the meat by tasting a small pinch, being sure not to swallow. We all have different taste buds, but just remember that the feta cheese is already pretty salty to begin with. Form the patties by hand, making anywhere from 6 to 8 patties, then preheat a 12 inch cast iron skillet and add the oil. Use something with a high smoke point. My top choices are avocado oil, lard, and tallow. If you're not used to cooking with cast iron, then there are two rules to keep in mind. One, make sure your skillet is good and hot before you put any food in it, otherwise your food is likely to stick. Two, make sure your food has time to form a crust before you try to flip it, otherwise your food will stick. Don't worry, cast iron is very easy to work with, and unless you're my husband, you will come to love it. Cast iron cooking tips aside, you will want to sear the burgers for 3 to 5 minutes on the first side and 1 to 2 minutes on the other side before transferring the skillet to the oven for 15 minutes. Once the burgers are out of the oven, serve them straight away with your favorite fixing. If you want to go the extra mile, check out my video on how to make homemade Kaiser rolls. They make a special and delicious touch. Bon appétit! Remember your salt and pepper, folks. What do you have there, Vixen? Do you have a closing word for your loyal fans? Oh. Very good.